What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to do some metal casting and I'm going to make these number plates. The metal casting process I'm using today is called the lost foam casting method. I carved out two pieces of foam that look just like this with my CNC machine. I buried that foam in dry sand, melted down the aluminum and poured the molten metal into that mold. And now this is what I have. So if you guys want to see the process, let's go to the video and enjoy. All right, guys, so for today's video, it's going to be making train number plates. I'm making both of these for a customer. Um, I already did this one. I did this while I was melting metal in a, in a previous video, which I didn't show the pour, but I'm, I'm going to show you the pour I made for this one today. Uh, this one came out really good. I still have to cut it off and clean it up. But today, we're going to be pouring this one and making this out of solid aluminum here. And today, I'm going to be using my old furnace that I built a few years ago. I don't really show a lot of videos on it. Um, it's, it's pretty big, and it takes a lot longer to heat up. Uh, but today, I'm going to use it because I want to make sure I have enough metal to fill this out. Because this one... I believe I used the entire crucible to fill this and I don't want to run short so I'm going to use my bigger furnace for this one. Now I'm going to start off the furnace by melting the aluminum here that I recently made using my oil burner. So if you guys missed that video, that's a freaking awesome video, make sure you check that out. I melted down some aluminum using my oil burner and I dripped it, I guess you could say I dripped it into a ingot mold or tried to I think they're pretty cool looking but uh, I'm just gonna melt them down so this is the old furnace see I got a I think it's a number six crucible uh, inside of it so we're gonna start the furnace and melt down this this aluminum here and then I'll do the lost foam casting process like usual and I'll bury that foam piece in some dry sand so let's go oh yeah what do you think of the new glasses? Let me know in the comments. So before I bury this in sand, let me just explain, if you're new to the channel. This is a piece of polystyrene foam. It's pink foam. I carved the design out with my CNC using the Fox Alien 4040. I coated it with drywall mud, okay? This is a thin layer of drywall mud or joint compound mixed with water, a very thin, runny mix and I thickened it out in between the numbers here to try to get more uh, detail out of it and that's the point of the joint compound uh, I know a lot of people ask um, the joint compound will actually leave a smooth finish onto the pattern when it's all finished
Looks good. Time to let it dry and clean it up. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I have two train number plates right here, and I think they both came out great. This one, I sanded down the letters and the numbers and gave it a little, little polish, a little quick polish, and I think it came out excellent, both of them. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like both of them, if you don't like both of them, either way, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel grow. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video and have a great day. See ya.